to the land of sacked out dirty old hoes and greasy old poplar pecker poles. Willard. 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 Are you stunned? He is stunned. What are you even looking at? All right. Well, before you guys feast your eyes on this dirty, derelict old production, I'd just like to give thanks to all the Minty Patreons that are making this dirty old production possible. Without them, Minty Mouth Breathers, these productions, well, they'd probably still be here, but they wouldn't be half as mint as they are. Oh, how dare you, Willard? How dare you? Cosby Sauce, 1202, and this greasy old stuff, well, it ain't getting any cheaper. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks again. And if you want to join in with the rest of us Mouth Breathers and Mongoloids and enjoy the full length of this video, uncut with all the mintiness and uh, a way better introduction to this video go check out the link in the comment or the description well enough of me mouth breathing and mongoloiting enjoy the production mint Alrighty, minty pricks so the argument that's longer than whether it is stunned has always been does ether hurt a diesel mill the, the story is as long as the day is old as the stories of ether killing engines is told so every time i go on the old interwebs it's, there's always a hundred comments or a hundred videos or whatever it may be about how cosby sauce or or ether or or you know laughing gas whatever you want to call it has killed engines what are, are you stunned bud so today i'd like to settle this argument once and for all and what's the argument exactly the argument is does ether kill engines does ether make engines addicted i smoke rock does does ether blow them up does it fire rods out the side of the block what does it do exactly all these stories that get told are they really true or are they just a bunch of bull from a bunch of guys that actually don't have any real life experience with dirty old ether cosby sauce spraying and they're just telling stories that their brothers uncles moms aunties dog friends told them that one time or another that ether was there and it maybe might have touched him while he was sleeping i don't know but ether gets blamed for a lot of problems that engines have that i don't think the uh I I'm, tr I'm here to clear ether's name ether's good stuff if it wasn't for that i would not have one pile of on this piece of dirt that would run that the, the stuff just works i'm down to the bottle that's got the broken top but it's barely even slicing my lip up look at that deposit of hillbilly diamonds right there no that's the good stuff with her don't eat it don't eat it mm -hmm. are you stunned all right so getting back to the uh the titty at hand here the story of cosby sauce what will it blow an engine up will it will it fire rod out the side of the block is it a blow head gas is it a blow the and rings off the piston so my opinion when it comes to old cosby sauce is it's, it's a lot like the truck chev ford or dodge it always boils down to the nut that holds the wheel an old timer once told me it's the nut that holds the wheel i really don't think ether has killed as many engines as people say it has because there's a lot more stupid people out there than there are engines that supposedly got blown up by cosby sauce and even moreover there's a lot of legends out there that like to talk about all these times where ether blew engines up. It, it's just brutal to listen to. Every comment section you see is just riddled with mouth breathing to say that their brothers, uncles, cousins blew up an engine one time with Cosby sauce. And I have never seen an engine blow up from Cosby sauce or become addicted to it. So becoming addicted to ether, what, what you fellas got to do is you got to go back to, to grade nine English class when they tell you what the word personification is. Personification is giving human attributes to a piece of iron or something that ain't human for this dodge having a clapped out ass end you know dodge owners have clapped out ass ends for various reasons and uh you know their trucks have clapped out ass ends and and a bad brain under the hood but the bad brain under the hood is a personification of the ecm being fried and the ass end being up it's kind of a personification of you know buddy's ass getting 
more time than John Wayne's handgun, and now we can ship pancakes. Well, that everybody said, oh, once you spray the Cosby sauce, then it weakens compression and blows the rings off, or this, that, and the other, and they'll never start without ether ever again. It's, they're a complete write-off. They're junk. You can't use it. It's, it's just garbage. You got to rebuild the engine every time you spray Cosby sauce into something. Well. If that may be the case, 748 John Deere, built in 1998. Seen a lot of Cosby sauce spraying, right? Well, if you look up on the dash in there, there's a button for Cosby sauce. You don't need to worry about all the Miller light cans. All right, Case 850B track loader, built in 1980. Ether starting aid. Came stock with it, 1980. So every time I've started this thing, it's blowing it up? Every time? I don't think so. 1980 LW900. What a beautiful pile of iron. Cat A block. Start aid. What is start aid? What, when you hit this button, does someone run the glow plugs for 15 hours and you know come out of the woodworks and plug in the block heater? No. It sprays a hot pile of Cosby sauce right down her throat hole. So I'm hobbling around the yard, you know, tear your out of it. And you're saying peg and legging. Hurry the to it. Get to the point. Well, my point is that Cosby sauce is sold on shelves. It's engineered into these big old mills and, and skidders and every off-road equipment you've ever seen because it works and it doesn't blow them up every time you use it. And if used improperly, well, if you use your packer improperly and jam it into the fan, well, you're probably going to have a bad time. But if you jam it into the old lady, you're probably going to have a good time. It also depends if it's been like four or five days since she shaved and it's pretty much like a barbed wire fence but that's neither here nor there so which brings me back to this pilot so Cosby sauce being used properly shouldn't hurt an engine i've never seen it hurt an engine I, i've seen a lot more starters burnt out or this that and the other being up by uh by no Cosby sauce being used when when a little snort would have got her going that's all they need sometimes a little snort boom the engine's running it ain't gonna hurt at all it's not washing cylinders down it's not blowing piston rings off but if there's any truck on god's green earth or frozen armpit of the north that can tell the tale of not blowing up from ether usage. It's gonna be Old Slave Lake here. Have a drink, you old piece of sh So, Old Slave Lake, I don't know if you guys know this truck very well. I got this truck a long time ago. That beer tastes a lot like hydraulic oil. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on. There's definitely a lot of hydraulic oil on that. that that's fine. So this old poor piece of has been ether started since I owned it for day one. I bought this thing at Wapiti Truck Sales in Grand Prairie. It was, it was a push puller drag. I bought it for 500 bucks, brought it home, redid the whole truck. It was beautiful. I sprayed ether in, it in the first five minutes of seeing it. Every time I've started this pilot, from here on out, it's been Cosby sauce. I, I did use a pony motor, if you guys remember from old videos, to get it running. Beba, this is the coolest thing you've ever done. But I have a better idea for a starter for Old Slave Lake, and it involves with the I got. I found this old laying in the old reefer van here, and uh, I got a real sassy pants idea. Sitting here running on choke. This is gonna be mint, I think. Let's see what happens. I've sprayed countless different kinds of liquids down her throat hole. I did a whole video on that as to what works for starting fluid. These guys think they're funny, but they're really just like stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got quite the lineup of uh, starting aids for old Slave Lake out there. Uh, this stuff does attract the old ladies. It's pretty good for making panty soup. Spray a little on me here. Smells real nice. The old lady won't be able to keep her hands off me when I walk through the trailer door. Fire up some of this. Let's just see how she's gonna spray. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be real dangerous. Charcoal starting fluid. So if it'll start up charcoal, it'll start up a diesel. Douche body spray next in line. How the f do you run? Oh, it's extra douchey. It's like douche transformers. The only thing we got left is greasy old potato water. It's got a real nice mist to it.
I tried every aerosol you could possibly get and sprayed it down her throat hole. It didn't work. No, none of that stuff works. Cosby sauce works every time. Bray Clean kind of works, but it just, it, it's not really jiving. From my understanding as to what Cosby sauce does, is it lowers the flash points of diesel. Willard, you're stunned. Relax, bud. He found an old tire over there. It's just stunned. So my understanding of what the Cosby sauce does, so 1202 doesn't like to fire off because it's combustible when it's cold outside. Well, an IDI doesn't like to fire up at all because it's an old piece of sh <laughs> Willard! Enough! I don't know if it's because there's no fire crater and a piston. What, for like a Cummins? Because they got the fire crater and a piston instead of in the head. I don't know if it's the pre-combustion design, the way it's injected, the way... It... If you walk past this piece of with a popsicle and the thing's brand new right out of the box fresh compression and you walk past it with a popsicle or an ice cream cone and the glow plug controller ain't working and it's plus 35 celsius outside communist measurements the piece of shit ain't gonna start these things are the worst so so i don't understand the engineering behind these pieces of shit to why they need glow plugs or cosby sauce to start but at the end of the day they do they ain't no like five nines so going back to what i was saying does cosby sauce kill well i don't think it does and why don't i think it does because this piece of shit still ain't dead but the argument really is, do things become addicted to Cosby sauce? You know what addiction is? I used to suck for coke. I seen them. Now that's an addiction, man. That's addiction. Bob Saget said it best. That's addiction. So trying to put myself in the mindset of all these feathers that say, you know, these engines get become addicted to, to the Cosby sauce. Well, okay. So putting myself in your boot, I'm going to go ahead and think that what you're saying is that once you sprayed it in there once, it somehow wrecks the combustion chamber or wrecks the head or wrecks something inside of this mill that prevents it from starting like it did when it rolled off the showroom floor. Well, if there's any better truck to do it on, it's this piece of shit. This thing has been sprayed with all the sauce all the time. It's been absolutely neglected and abused its whole life. If there's any shining star in the beacon of it is addicted to Cosby sauce, it's this holy pile of So, if this old pile of gets a fresh set of glow plugs, some actual fuel that's not radioactive horse piss, will it fire up just like old international 13 letter spreader intended when it rolled off the showroom floor? Well, there's only one way to find out. What do you guys think the chances of this battery being dead are? Uh, all of it. Oh, and uh, Slave Lake hasn't ran since uh, she was in the parade and I delicately unloaded it off the back of the big truck. <laughs> Done. Is it completely pooched out? <laughs> you don't need to worry about smoking battery terminals. All right, so it ain't locked up. I did put the uh, proprietary Ford hubcap over the uh, the intake there. Let's just see. This thing hasn't been running in a long time. It's got bull fuel in it. Well, we're gonna we'll do everything prop. It's got to be just like ow, that's hot. It's got to be just like 13 letter better intent it's got to have good fuel in it it's got to have proper glow plug usage we might not use the proper glow plug wiring but i mean that's just gonna be the way she goes but it's gonna be kind of sort of like international intended and this is gonna settle the argument as to if ether makes it so these things are completely dependent on cosby sauce slave lake you're about to run without sauce for once bud how do you like that you'll be fine all right we'll set up with the seven p's proper previous planning prevents piss poor performance let's do a little bit of a biopsy on the how bad the wiring harness is on slave lake but uh i want to see what's going on in here through wiring oh this is not good no come on it's not good so this thing's seen a lot of fires like this engine has been on fire all of it a lot of times probably a really idea but I'm gonna burn off the excess ether. Put this torch on cruise control here. He's bluffing. He's not bluffing. He never bluffs. <laughs> Woo! Look at it. Oh yeah, she loved it. She doesn't need all that anyway. All those wires and stuff. And it might have roached out all the glow plug wiring, but we'll just go ahead and uh, fiddle. Around here for a while dig in like, there's so much shit wedged into this pile Ugh. there's a lot of years of memories that have gone into this whole piece of look at this that's a i'm pretty sure that's part of the existing uh, glow plug controller you don't need that oh all right so what do we got for wiring here there's a lot of foliage a lot of fiddle oh is this oh yeah well there's there's some of the glow plug wiring still in it but we're gonna go ahead and revamp it all so it all runs off one big fat wire and then uh see what glow plugs are actually dead and see which ones need to be replaced oh yeah 
And I forgot, the point of this video is so I don't have to argue with any mouth breathers in the comments anymore. If they say ether blows up an engine, I'm just going to send her this video. Because if this thing's blowed up and it will not start without Cosby sauce, I will take a big f***ing bite of the a toe -to -so sandwich and, uh, and I'll go f*** myself. But if it fires up and runs just fine without Cosby sauce, you guys got to board the f***ing boat to Old f***ing Town and then get there. Because uh, I think it's just fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with this piece of other than everything. Just feast your eyes on how much is wedged in to the top of this head. This glow plug is completely buried under garbage. That's how you know it's good. Oh, it's all frozen in Is that a fishing lure? What in the sweet fiddler's Oh, man, she's rough. Look at that glow plug is balls deep in a pile of oil burger clay that's been frozen. I mean, that, that's how you know it's good. I don't think you can actually own an IDI without having a Letterman and a cat of Cosby sauce on you. Oh, that glow plug might have to wait until the engine's overheating to get that looked at. It'll fire on seven. Alrighty, let's fire up the old rickshaw. Oh, she loves that. And now a special back alley Sally offer from this derelict cripple. And just remember, ladies, nothing says I love you more than a mouth hole handy and some zip tie swag. Oh, I hope you minty pricks are enjoying watching me mouth breathe and mongo right around the yard here. Alrighty, so I get about 6,584 messages a day asking about zip tie swag. So we thought we'd oblige by putting on a special. Mint. What's the special you may ask? Alrighty, well we got the fat 5,000. And you may be asking, what's the fat 5,000? Well, the fat 5,000 is hoodies from XL to 4XL. You get yourself a flag and six zip tie stickers. Mint. But wait! Are you of the type that doesn't breathe heavy while he's tying up his boots? Or just wears slip-ons like this guy? Well, we got the skinny peckerhead package. Gets you a flag and six stickers for the back of your minty old truck. Mint. Well, if you don't want a flag or a hoodie to go with that, we got the back window sticker package deluxe. It gets you six f***ing stickers for the back window of your fur. And we got those at half off right now. Kind of like my leg. So if you guys want, head over to ziptiesandbiasplies.com and grab yourself some minty old merch. Uh, it's, it's all in the uh, the shop thing, and it'll be under new arrivals or something like that, or deals. It'll be mint. Alrighty, now back to the video. Now I actually have a box in this pile. It's not 7.3 drum brake repair. It's not power smoke fuel pump. It's the 7.3 IDI fuel injectors, V-belts, and Slave Lake Revival box. There's got to be something good in there. All right, well, we got a good dump to my Princess Auto test leads. Let's see here. So green goes to body. Oh, there's power in there. But make sure that ain't touching the uh, body at all. So I've checked glow plugs like this 100 times. You know, I think it does work. So, you know, you can hook, go ahead, hook up power to it, and then just see if you got any kind of sparks. There you go. So it's drawing lots of current. And we'll see when she starts to glow red. Make sure your wire's thick enough for this, because it can be drawn all kinds of amps. Let's see what's happening here. I think we're good. Oh, yeah, it's barely getting the wires real hot. So, there you go. She's starting to glow red now. So that glow plug works. Let's just see here. Let's just hook it back up. Oh, that wire was definitely grounding out to the bench, and now it's really hot. But that's fine. So we'll go down to Slave Lake, and we'll just brush the old wire against each glow plug. Make sure she's drawing some current, and call her good. But while I'm here, and while I'm fixing what I did want to test is when you spray Cosby sauce down a dirty old IDI's throat hole, will it ignite the Cosby sauce and backfire and spin the engine the other way and lock up the starter? I have ether locked every engine in this yard, but uh, while we're on the bench, we might as well fiddle around and see if Cosby sauce will just light off on the dirty old glow plug. So I'm pretty sure, like uh, betting on my good leg kind of sure, that uh, th this is the reason that there's that sticker on the intake that says don't spray Cosby sauce in the old prick because it might uh, blow up. When you have functioning glow plugs, you're not gonna wanna spray the sauce to it. Let's see the old ether here. This is the this is John Deere's 80% ether. You ain't gonna get better Cosby sauce than this shit. So let's light this glow plug off and uh, see if we can't explode ourselves. Let's get it right rosy red and then light the whole bench on fire. This can be fun. All right, so meow, you got Burrito Grandito spraying Cosby sauce down her throat hole. You got the glow plugs all the way on. Let's see if she blows up. There you go. That's how you know you're not going to want to spray Cosby sauce down a throat hole with functioning glow plugs. Because you might light your bench on fire. There you go. Science! Yes, science! Alrighty, let's try her again, but with uh, the Princess Auto Cosby sauce. This stuff's called start or jump start. Starting fluid with lubricity. It's got to be good. Effective to minus 53 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. She's communist. Prolonged starter life. It says right on the can, so you know it's good. So let's see if it lights off on the old glow plug. All right, she lights up mint. Let's see what the old PB mark 
Does. Oh yeah, she really gets to ripping. You don't need to worry about lighting the resource toque on fire. Oh, my buddy Josh gave me that. That's a nice toque. That was a gooder. It's still good. All right, now we gotta grab, grab some of that A shit. The A stuff, it, it just, it doesn't seem to have the get up and go that uh, they used to have, but I do use it all the time. It's probably the most commonly used Cosby saws out here. And why you may ask? Well, it's cheap, really cheap. And Princess Auto's always got her on sale. All right, how did the A stuff do? Everything's pretty hot on the bench right now. Let's heat her back up and light her off. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Hey, everything's soaked in Cosby sauce now. Oh, so it got to a certain temp where it will light. My butthole up a little bit there. So look at this stuff, it's junk. See the old ace? It doesn't light off like this does. This stuff really does good. Princess Auto stuff, well, she's really excited. Well, I guess the spray pattern. And then yeah, and then this stuff. I love the John Deere stuff. It's it's just rowdy. You can actually hear the difference inside the old uh, combustion chamber when the old Cosby sauce of the uh, John Deere variety gets in there. So there you go. That's probably why you shouldn't spray Cosby sauce inside your mill with functioning glow plugs. Because as soon as that stuff comes in, so you gotta remind yourself that instead of coming in through the injector, it's coming in through the intake valve. And as soon as it starts to party with this guy, it's just gonna light off. And so when the piston's starting to come up, it's pre-lighting it off and it's firing it back down and all kinds of shit going on. So there you go. You got your answer. Should you spray Cosby sauce into a mill that has functioning glow plugs? Probably not. But if it has functioning glow plugs, it shouldn't need Cosby sauce to get going. Hillbilly muff busting. So we're gonna go at this whole debacle with the same thing I go at uh, my sex life with. It's gonna be the whole, uh, at least you tried kind of scenario. So I will hook up the glow plugs that have really connections with gator clamps, kind of like I did the old 6.9 IDI. And all the ones that do have good connections, I'll, uh, I'll just let them party. And all the ones that are dead glow plugs, well, we might try to change them out. Oh, let's see what kind of fuel comes out of here. Like, you can't, it can't identify as fuel because it does burn. But man, is this stinky old Now we're just gonna twist this up out of the way. Ugh, there we go. Oh, oh, I don't know what. It smells like really old gas. Yeah, that's old gas is what that is. That's fine. Is the key on? Oh, there's your, there's your injection pump turn on. I can't believe that's still stock. Like, you'd think that would have gotten messed up when, uh, when she was on fire for the hunter's time. All right, we'll crack all these guys loose. You're saying, Peg, why don't you go get a proper size wrench. I'd say, well, yeah, you're right, but how am I supposed to strip everything off if I got the proper size wrench? All right, we'll go get the Click Clacker 500, hook it up. I don't know if the battery's gonna be good enough to crank. We'll put the new battery in it too. Well, we got the Click Clack 500 all dialed into a proper source of 1202. Oh, wait, like she's getting the royal treatment here, boy. She's she's not gonna know what this is. It's like one day she's drinking PC Light, the next day she's drinking Champagna. I mean, she's not even gonna know who this truck is. And look at this, check this out, ready? Checking the oil. There's none in it. That's fine. All right, with the quick clacky 500 dialed in, all these guys are dialed. Oh, I'm gonna be standing right here with my good leg, just ripping right beside that harmonic balancer, but that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. We're probably gonna tighten this battery up a little bit. I definitely hooked it up backwards the first time, but that was just pressure testing it to make sure it was good. I was just testing its durability. All right, is she gonna quick clack? Oh yeah, she's quick clacking. All right, let's just see here. See this this old Kresge, she'll do her all. Like you do hose clamps, injectors, like this real time saver. Is it gonna piss out of there? Oh yeah, all kinds of fuel pressure there. So we'll crank her over and we'll make sure we got fuel. Hey, right, we got fuel coming out of that injector, which doesn't really make any sense, but uh, yeah, we'll crank it over and all the ones that we loosened off, we should start getting fuel puking out of there. The good stuff too, not that old <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. The uh, fuel pump's still functioning and it's pumping radioactive horse piss everywhere. Let's just see here. Is, you'll see what kind of fuel she had in her. Let's just have a good <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's more, it's gotta be just straight old gas is what that is. Oh, that's gnarly. All right, well, here's her septic tank. And uh, the fact that it's actually able to draw any fuel out of that kinked off hose is besides me. Like, how is that even happening? Does mean sense at all we're just gonna unhook that and then whatever radioactive horse piss is left in her we'll just have to let that 
dabble all over the top of the engine it'll be fine this fuel system actually has come a long way from what she used to be it actually used to have a an old air compressor from the dump on the roof and uh yeah it like that it ran that for a good long time <sighs> you know you wonder when i go for dinner with mrs peg she's like honey something smells like shit. i'm like oh yeah well it's probably my letterman and the guy wearing it because uh i mean you're not not gonna go out and wrench on shit on your way to your dates and you're not gonna not wrench on shit that smells like or radioactive horse piss it's just it's just the way she goes we should probably try to contain some of the schmooze that's coming out of there ah oh, we'll just let it bucket of the hubcap all right so we got the uh we got the diesel jug thing dialed in there all the injectors are open up we'll just crank her over me out <laughs> yeah that's the good stuff oh it, it, it doesn't smell good i don't even know how this poor piece of is. it's ridiculous all right so let's see here that kind of smell oh yeah that's diesel coming out of there so we got 1202 on uh what one two three four five six injectors man so we got we're just giving her everything i'm just just getting just getting tickled pink that we're treating her this nice uh, so those are all bled it should be good to go She's obviously not cranking fast enough. We're gonna have to fix that. The, the the battery cables on this thing are a nightmare. We might have to feed her two four volts because you know it. Twelve volt starters love twenty four volts. It's just it's just how it is. I mean it's double the good. So now what we're gonna do is just run the old spark test on all of these glow plugs to see which ones are still good and which ones aren't. I'm gonna guess there's not a whole lot of good glow plugs left in her because she never really did have good glow plugs from day one. Alrighty, so we got red wire here. Clamp her onto that glow plug there. So much in the way everywhere so when we hook this to power it should have a little spark to her oh she's drawing good i think i think it's just hooked to the glow plug let's see yeah that one's mint all right next one on down the line we got this guy i'm telling you guys the glow plugs on a 5.9 cummins are just way easier to get to all righty next glow plug let's try her out all right that glow plug definitely dead but that's fine all righty so one glow plug on this bank of the engine is good so that means that uh, we're gonna have to do some glow plug swapping this is gonna turn into a bit of a debacle but i mean that's just the way she goes the reason it's gonna turn into a debacle is the amount of that's wedged into these ports for the glow plugs look what he did he all over the wall like how much is in there all of it Alrighty, so meow that I got you guys to go down in the comments section and tell me that 12 valve comments don't have glow plugs, so I'll uh, continue on with this derelict story. What are you stunned? Alrighty, I wonder if this will actually light. It won't. Oh, I guess that's the gas in it and the radioactive horse piss. See, now I got warmth. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. So meow, all the feathers got to do is if I knock that over, oh, I'm going to be lit on fire here. That's good thing that's my wooden leg. I paid good money for that thing though. I don't want her to burn up. So now what we're gonna do is uh, get these holes in the head all dialed together. What for the, the ice and the dirt and it's all built up in there. So yeah, we're just gonna pull out of here and start swapping plugs out. Pretty much everything's on fire right now. That radioactive horse piss, it's got a lot of gas in it. Old Princess Auto had these on sale in mint. Let's chisel this out of here. You don't need to worry about brake reservoirs lighting on fire. I mean, this thing doesn't have brakes anyway. They're fine. There's a lot of jammed in here. I thought it was frozen. It's just really jammed in there is all that's going on. Yeah, it's a big old frozen chunk. What? Next time you guys are doing glow plugs and you don't have a nice warm shop to do it in, I highly recommend lighting a hubcap for the radioactive piss on fire. Right beside your face. Oh, it's nice. Oh, the old furnace is almost out of fuel and the old brake reservoir is getting a little a little bit worse for wear there you're gonna want to cover up your air cleaner you don't want any of this dirt getting into the intake holy f there's actually glow plugs in there oh the amount of shitty old diesel and whatever the f it is it's jammed into these holes it's just gnarly all right so there's like a hillbilly archaeological dig for fury but if you look down in here I'm pretty sure that one's been JB welded in the spot. All right, well now we can probably get on a couple of these bastards. Oh, that one just spun right out like nothing. Of course, that's the easiest one to get to though. Oh, 
yeah. How much did that glow plug is in the cylinder? All of it. That's fine. All right. So we got seven glow plugs out of this old prick. The uh, the eighth one. Oh, are you pants? The eighth one, we're not going to do her because she's JV welded in there. So we got three with blow tips and four that don't look too bad. We'll test them out and whatever ones are we'll uh, we'll replace them. Oh, you know what? Slave Lake earned it. Well, there's that and I'm lazy as We'll replace all seven glow plugs with seven brand new ones. How about that? Just making her rain glow plugs on the sassy old pile. Uh, I tell you, I treat you good, Slave Lake. I treat you real good. Actually, it's the Patreon treating you real good. My fat ass just feeds you Cosby sauce and redlines you to the moon. Thank you, guys. You got a mint. All right. Well, we got eight brand new glow plugs in this pile. Eight of them. Or no, seven. But seven's going to have to identify as eight. But seven out of eight glow plugs, I mean... That's impressive. No. Uh, I'm very aroused. All right, well, unhook this guy, mint. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and crank the engine over, get her smoking. We gotta get her smoking here. We'll make sure all eight holes are getting diesel. And then we'll wheel it over with the glow plugs on and it'll give us our answer once and for all is if engines can get addicted to things. You know, Joe Rosen, this is not the first time I've tasted I've had several in my line of work. What kind of help drugs? I'm trying to get some crack rock. This is this is the last time. I'm not going through any more comment sections, entertaining any more mouth breathing that say ether blows engines up or it makes them addicted to it. Because if this old pilot hasn't blown up from Cosby sauce usage, I don't know what else to tell you guys. This thing has seen the worst of all of it. Like all of it. It has been the centerpiece at many book. All right. And the participants of said book. We're all Cosby sauce can. All right, we'll hook these guys up, get rid of them jumper cable ends, and then uh, then we'll Slave Lake will have two batteries, just like factory intended. But yeah, let's wheel it over now so the glow plugs are all off. We're gonna wheel it over till it starts to get a little smoke, and then uh, see if she goes back to factory default settings. <laughs> Is she chooching? All right, there's no chooch yet. It should be chooching. Your injection pump's on. Should be chooching. We'll crank it a little bit more with the throttle WFO. Just to play along down a little. All right, so I don't see no chooch at all coming out of there. I don't know if I smell smoke at all. Maybe we'll see in the cameras if it was smoking or not. Just because she's not smoking don't mean she's broken. Well, she's probably pretty broken. Let's just see if it sparks when we arc it out. Ugh glow plugs let's just see here we'll follow the harness back let's just see if happens anything happens if i arc it out oh yeah we got no spark there at all so we got a problem with wiring here it must have been parked too close to a dodge bingo all right so we got the old princess auto jumper cables hooked up instead of doing all the rest of the fiddle all the wiring we'll hook it right up to the solenoid but right now we're gonna see if it, just if it'll spark just to see if it's drawn off of power let's just see here Yeah, so this is the, the power side that should be coming from the battery. And uh, let's just see if there's any power there at all. Yeah, there's no power there at all. That's the way you're going to want to test it. So this guy here hooked right up to here. Well, that's going to guarantee that it's on. So we'll hook it to this side and see if this solenoid will work. And by testing to see if it works, we're just going to arc the f out of it. Ready? Uh, so we'll just hook this guy up, turn it on, and see if it sparks. Oh, yeah. So that guy works mint. So we'll run that switch inside. So on off. That should turn the on and off for glow plugs. And then uh, see if she fires me out. So she is cranking real slow. What for uh, being sacked right out. So we might have to give her the old 2-4 volt option. But really tired starters that uh, have seen all the hot suppers. They like 24 volts. You are wrong. All right. So let's crank it over again. See if we get any smoke. And then, uh, then turn the glow plugs on. Or does it have such compression that it won't smoke? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, it is addicted. Let's see. No smoke yet. We'll turn that switch out. Let's see if the amp gauge drops from meow. See here. Oh yeah, all of it. So we'll let that run for a few seconds and just see what happens. We gotta cut a bit of a hangle on this prick. There we go. Now it won't suck to the basement of it. Now we should get some good fuel bleeding going on. There. Well, it's kind of working. I think we would have been better off just to leave it on a radioactive horse piss instead of trying to fix this thing with the old click clacker. All right, let's just see now if she starts to get smoke. <laughs> there ain't no smoke. Maybe she's just so used to running on radioactive horse piss that she's not used to this fancy 1202. She wants 1267. A mixed batch. I'm getting a tiny whiff of, uh, of diesel meow. I can smell diesel burning a little bit. This click clacker 500 might be a feller. 
All right, so meow, we got 24 hooked up here because that's what you're going to want to have. No, please, please, no. Well, we got 12 volts coming off of this battery. It should be just 12 volts, I think. I don't know. We're just going to f*** on and find out. Hook this guy to here. <laughs> Are you getting smoke yet? That starter has just seen such a hard life. Let's just see here. Let's just a little more cranking. Is that the starter giving up or is that the battery? Let's just see what happens. We'll just use whatever's left in her for cranking just to see if she'll fire. Oh, there's a lot of sparks there. That's fine. But let's just see. We'll hook the glow plugs up. Let's see here. Oh, those are drawing all of it. Like all of it, all of it. Let's just see. It might be 24 volts going to the glow plugs, but that's fine. Alrighty, well, it was at this point that my booze and painkiller addled brain, I completely forgot that I just hooked 24 volts up to the uh, glow plug system. And that may or may not have been a demise of uh, more than one glow plug. So let's see here, hook the power up. I don't think we have any batteries left. All right, so we got two less batteries in her on non 24 volt. Let's just see if she cranks. All right. Yeah, she's on 12 volts again. So she's on factory setting. <laughs> so we're getting a tiny bit of smoke, but not enough. We're going to have to two for it. All right, so I think we're dealing with the end of a legend here. Do you guys notice the smoke that is profusely rolling out of? Oh, well, there's a bunch of things that are rolling smoke here. Oh, we got battery cables and all kinds of stuff. Oh, are we letting... Oh, yeah, that's definitely... Oh, that might be arcing out to the 24 volts. I mean, how much smoke can you actually let out of those things before you can't put the smoke back in? And the answer might be right there. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to smoke like that. Well, there goes that thing. But we got to get under there, and I think we got to change the starter out because she sacked the... So we let all the smoke out of it. That was the uh, that's the end of a legend. I kind of feel bad because like that starter's been in there since the, since I had this truck, and she's been mint. She needs a starter, so I'm gonna stick a starter in it. And uh, well, I guess that's better for this test anyhow. When I uh, buy my wife, um, cook good, her vagine work well, and she's strong on plow. And now, a romantic, smelly little tip from Peggin Leggin. Well, she's the next day here, Meow, and, uh, you know, had to wine and dine old Mrs. Peg and Leggin last night, and uh, had a lot of people ask, to say, Peg, uh, you know, when you're putting on the old hillbilly smell good, how much do you put on? Well, I figured I'd show you. What cologne are you going to go with? London gentleman, or? No. She gets a special cologne. So what you do is you go ahead uh, and you take your oldest, mintiest saw that you got, right? By Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. You fire it up. <laughs> It's quite pungent. Put her in the old vice here. Make sure the exhaust is pointing your way. It stings the nostrils. Grab the old high idle screwdriver. You want to idle her up a bit. Get to the chain start turning. And you're going to want to rip the f out of it. And it's really fast in the glory of steel chain job. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. So there you go. That's how you put on the hillbilly smell good for Valentine's Day. That's uh... They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. You want to smell good for Valentine's Day, and it's got to be good non-ethanol, hopefully race gas from the airport. They sell aviation gas there for a few cents more a liter. And uh, smells real good. It's leaded, so it'll up a little bit, and you smell good. Make sure it's overmixed on the oil, too. Alrighty, well, we're back down here. Fiddle with this old piece of shit. Alrighty, meow. We went through the pile of starters that I had and this one looks the mintiest this is a gear drive starter off scamazon and they're supposed to be way 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 awesomer than the one that's on this all right so I'm under here changing the rest of this starter out she's just I mean a lot of people don't understand whether you're stunned a lot of people don't understand this to know about the, the top bolt placement on a 7.3 IDI starter what they don't actually understand whether you're stunned whether you're stuck whether it's just Stunned. But what a lot of people don't understand is that international and Ford engineers actually made it. So once you get the old starter out, you just have to use these two bolts instead of the ones up top. Don't get too excited about stuff. Just do it half ass and go to bed without worrying about it. That's the best way to go through life. Oh, yeah. Good battery in it. Listen to how she cranked. 
I've never heard her crank this fast before on one battery. Doesn't even need 12, 24 volts. Mint, right Willard? It's done. All right, so we're gonna turn the key off now, and then we're gonna put fuel back here. So we'll just run it right off the radioactive horse piss. It ran mint off it before, it'll run mint off it again. Crank the out of it till we got some squirting out of there. Hook her up to the system and give her all the way with all this fancy 1202 Slave Lake hay set. It's the good stuff. All right, so I got the Click Clacker 500 hooked up back there. She's pumping through the fuel pump, I reckon. See all the air coming out of there? Oh yeah, keep bleeding, you fucking dirty. All right, let's just see with some cranking how much more she's gonna spray out of there. Should be a pretty good spray, being that there's double dual fuel pump on her. Oh yeah. All right, the system's all primed up. Alrighty, so key on. Is there? Oh yeah, we got key on. We got power. We got the Click Clacker 500 going. We got two injectors crack, but we don't have the glow plugs running yet. So we'll just go ahead and bleed the system. All right, we got two cylinders with diesel. So, well, whatever the f you could call this. So let's see what happens. Meow. We're gonna hook up glow plugs again. Old the draw. So glow plugs. My foot stuck right in the balancer. That's good. And we can't start it with the Kresge. We gotta start it with the Letterman because that's just sacrilegious right there. So I think we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Oh, she is. Oh, we're welding again. She is running pretty low on battery again. But let's just see. I'm gonna crank it over and just bleed the rest of these injectors out a little bit. Try her again. All right, dead battery once again. Now let's see what happens now. We got two batteries in her, just like old mother nature intended. We're gonna hook the glow plugs back up. So now she's running on proper voltage to the glow plugs. I don't know if any of that wiring's getting hot, but who knows if any of the glow plug wiring is actually good. I mean, what is good? Yeah, injection pump's on. Let's see what happens now. Please start you pile of shit. Are we still getting fuel? Oh yeah, we're good. Let's see. I'm guessing what you're hearing is whatever cylinders still have glow plugs that have good wiring. And by good, I mean that's pretty subjective. Oh, that wire definitely came off. Jeebus. All right, let's hook them all back up. I, I don't think I plugged them all in good. I mean, what is high on painkillers and working on trucks? All right, let's try it again with <laughs> a few more of the glow plugs. I mean, this is all in the way it all came from factory. Oh, right, let's see here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, let's go. We might be dealing with some uh, air in the system.
Now it shouldn't start back up because it's an IDI. It was just running, but IDIs don't usually start if you walk past them with an ice cream cone. So let's just see. fired up one more time. I love this piece of <laughs> My leg is dangerously close to getting an energy leak, but other than that, we're good. Look at this death pose. Oh yeah. So I don't know if this is a good argument or not, whether Cosby sauce kills an engine to where it won't start without Cosby sauce that it becomes addicted. Clearly it slowly comes to life. I'm gonna guess that has to do with a lot with uh, fuel issue. What's that? Oh, I think that's what's left of the cooling system blowing out. But um, there's obviously, you know, problems with Old Slave Lake here. But it did start without Cosby sauce. I don't know how many of the glow plugs are good. I don't like, oh, well they're all new except for the one. I don't know how many are actually getting proper power. And, cause, you know, cause I'm stunned and I didn't do anything about it. But long story short, hopping on one foot, it started without Cosby sauce. Now, if there's any engine out there that shouldn't start based upon what the internet says, it's this piece of it, it doesn't need Cosby sauce. It, you can literally use her factory glow plug system to get her started in the cold after a sit. And the fuel system is a nightmare. I don't understand even how it runs, but there you go. There's your, the proof of the is in the now, I didn't just fire up Old Slave Lake because, you know, just to fire it up and say, you guys. I did want to fire Slave Lake up because I got some to do around the yard here. All right, well, Slave Lake should start from inside the cab. Should. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but we're going to give that a try. And uh, we're going to run her up to the shop before she uh, runs out of coolant system. And what does that mean? Well, that means that uh, it overheats all of it and then it won't start again. It's only done that about 7,000 times. Let's see here. Did I not hook the injection pump back up? Oh, this shit underneath this pedal. Didn't hook the injection pump back up. The oil pressure gauge still works. Did she move? Oh yeah. I had this fuel tank laying around since Mullet Brake Motorsports come over here and we done a video on that old Kodiak that we found in the dump doing a burnout. Well, Mullet Brake doesn't do videos anymore because he's stunned, but we had this guy and I think it still holds fuel in it, believe it or not. But I didn't want to have this for a Slave Lake fuel tank on the back, so let's load this up. We meant to have a fuel tank. It's not an old Chevy fuel tank, you know, or an air compressor for that matter. All right, let's put her in the shop. Oh yeah, 
she wouldn't be slave leg without making the oxygen unbreathable. What a f***ing treat. Oh, all that diesel that was in the engine valley, or whatever the f*** you want to call it, 1267, it's just meddling the f*** out of the floor right now. Oh. So we pulled this piece of the shop a long time ago, and I did have plans on doing the cooling system and this, that, and the other, but I don't know exactly what it was. Oh, it was the parade. Yeah, we were under a time crunch. But now that we've got her back in here, we're going to spend a little bit more time making her a little bit more mint. A functioning cooling system might be ideal. Alrighty, so we've been doing a lot of fiddle in Old Slave Lake. What are you stunned? I got a rad in her. We got her actual mounted and welded and all the rest of that fiddle. This is out of a uh, Bluebird school bus. I bought a bunch of these at the auction for fall, and uh, she works good. I don't think there's any holes in it. I'm gonna wish in one hand and shit in the other one. See which one filled up first on that one. I don't really want to put any coolant in this piece of What for uh, that? So it was at Princess Auto and they had blue bug juice on sale. Now, this stuff I found out the hard way when I was younger that depending on how they mix the batch, it's definitely flammable, but we're not worried about that. It's fine. Oh, I hate these locks. <laughs> Junk. If your kid's dumb enough to drink this, just let him drink it. It's called natural selection. So we're gonna fill her up full of this blue and see if she pours any out the basement. Uh, we built rad hose out of old aluminum pipe I found at the dump and, and steel pipe that I found at the dump. I hope she's mint. The head gasket on Old Slave Lake's been pretty rough for a long time so this is pretty much just water meth injection if you, if, you, if you know what i mean if it's going into the combustion chamber it's water meth injection it's not pouring on the ground yet that's amazing this is the first time in a long time slave lakes actually had some kind of a cooling system that wasn't air cool how about that believe me or not but i found slave lakes old finger chopper 5000 in the old sea can now what's the chances that it's not i think it'll be fine well it's definitely but can we put her on? Alrighty. So you just go ahead and just rest her up against there. Jump out the sewing right? And there you go. She's on there. So we got the fuel system all dialed in. Hose clamps and fittings and all kinds of minty. She's got a fresh print that's out of rat to strap holding her down. Alright, now kind of want a little over and above here oh the hood the hood had to take a hit with the uh, holding herself up well for the double series 31 batteries sitting here if we get them welded to what's left of the fender i mean it's still fine that that's what you want well yeah we built the battery cage for it so now it's actually got two proper batteries the giant radiator won't uh let the hood close enough to arc the batteries out so that's just an engineering at its finest Majestic. This morning, millions of Americans are being warned to stay indoors and to wear a mask when venturing outside. Look at that. Detecting high amounts of pollutants as toxic air blankets much of the Northeast. Thirteen states under alert. Yes, we are going to need to get that retarded cripple and his sacked out truck to f right off. As you can see by these pictures, the smoke and booze smell is overpowering for many Democrat Americans. That's to piss. Every clearing sled works, except for the one that I made into a headlight. Let's go buckle up our seatbelt here. And take a bird rep. Good old Wither Dog wants to go for a rugging truck. Good boy. Wanna go for a rip, old Wither Dog? Don't fall out now. 
I'm just sitting here squishing a little 1202 into the old prick. And she fucking idles smooth as fuck. But it's just a constant stream of cheech coming out of this old hooter. I love it. Come on, get in the truck. Get good boy. Oh, is this thing sketchy as fuck, bud? You're not used to having no door today. Eh? Well, we gotta have our headlights on for safety. She never used to start after being red line like that. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See how she starts back up? It doesn't even sound like it's overheating. All right, I might blow myself up right now, but I mean, why not? All right, so I might know a thing or two about gassing off alcohol. Well, methanol is the same kind of thing. So is this gonna blow up? Oh yeah. You want your cooling system to be able to flare off, you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm up my butt. So every time it starts to purge off you, she just lights on fire. That's fine. Come on, girl. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's fine. You want to have a cooling system that bends off and methanol. You're covered in a bunch of this and it lights on fire. That would suck. She's off and she's still excited. <laughs> That's fine. Is that fine, Willard? That's fine. Oh yeah. Uh, don't you just hate two-part videos? To enjoy the rest of this Dirty Derelict production, either wait until next week or come over to the old Dirty Old Patreon where it gets real greasy. It's not even a rubber fist. It's a prosthetic arm and a prosthetic leg. Now all I need is an eye patch and I can be a pirate. And you're sitting there saying, hey Peg, why is there a boat steering wheel hanging off your hammer handle? Arrgh, it's driving me nuts. Until next week, keep pooping out your pipe.